Right, so Mark Gurman gives us further details as to when to expect the M3 iMac to launch, so let's delve into it. So we've heard a lot about the M3 24 inch iMac, we know it's going to be skipping the M2 chip, and so we've been waiting for this to get the M3 upgrades, and now Mark Gurman tells us this iMac's in the advanced stage of development, meaning the launch should be pretty soon. Now this does align with previous reports regarding a release at the end of 2023, so of course maybe we have an October slash November event where Apple unveils a ton of new Macs, However, I do want to mention there has been reports recently that we could see new MacBook Airs with M3 chips launch within the next few weeks. And so there is a chance that maybe Apple does launch this new iMac alongside them because for the most part, this won't be a major refresh. Since we know M3 with the 3 nanometer process should be a pretty massive upgrade, but the Macs themselves are going to be identical to the current versions, and German surprisingly says that's also going to be the case with the colours. There is not going to be any new colours with this iMac, which is pretty odd. I say pretty odd because even when there's no redesign, Apple does tend to give us new colours for most refreshes. Take for example the iPhone 14, that has the exact same design as the iPhone 13, but it's still got a brand new range of colours. The same applied to the iPad Air 5. So giving the iMac new colours would be pretty nice, but then again, maybe because the iMac's a pretty niche product, Tim would prefer to save some cash and reuse existing M1 shells. And that does seem like it's going to be the case because German says we can expect internal design changes and a new manufacturing process for the stands, and so I have a feeling Apple's doing this to increase their margins and make this iMac cheaper to build. We already saw Apple do this with the recently announced MacBooks. Those had slower SSDs with the base models. So yes, expect that to be the case with the iMac, as well as other changes to reduce the cost of making this. Now there is a chance Apple could pass on the saving to us via low prices. We saw Apple do this with the Mac Mini and considering the iMac is very popular at schools, maybe Apple could give us a low price to incentivize those in education to get this, that would be pretty nice. But yeah guys, that's really about it. There are not going to be that many changes with this iMac. It could possibly be cheaper to build and it should get the M3 chip inside, but that's about it. And to be fair, that's fine for the target demographic. They do not need pro performance or even high-end specs like mini LED and additional peripherals. So yeah, this being a simple refresh, is perfectly fine. And by the way, would like to remind you guys, like this video and subscribe for more content like this, it would be appreciated. But of course, I am aware there are many of you guys waiting for a larger iMac Pro and that is still in the works, according to German, but he gives us no additional details regarding the release. And so personally, I don't think we're seeing that anytime soon. Obviously, remember we should see M3 Pro and M3 Max chips launch in 2024 at the earliest, and so yes, this should ideally launch with the next versions of the MacBook Pros, which could drop around spring 2024. And I'm quite excited for this refresh because we could see black bezels for one, but also mini LED on the front, a much bigger 27-inch panel that of course many want Apple to bring back. You also get better performance, additional peripherals, and hopefully at a price that is pretty reasonable for this. And yeah, that's the thing I'm wondering about because Apple's in a bit of a sticky situation with this iMac Pro because if they price it too low, it could cannibalize the Mac Studio in the range, but it also can't be too expensive. That would put off consumers. So yeah, hopefully it's around $2,200 or $2,300. Anyways, let's delve into your questions. So Josh has the M1 iMac and he would love to see an iMac Pro, ProMotion, OLED, more ports would convince him to upgrade. And fair enough, especially OLED, if we see that on the iMac Pro somehow, that would be nice. Though I do have my doubts because producing a massive OLED panel on the scale Apple needs is a little difficult. So it's more realistic we see mini LED on this, but either way, ProMotion, more ports, and additional power would be nice. And hopefully we also get black bezels. So Journey Stan says, Apple's gonna keep the same design for the next 10 years. The way the world economy is at the moment, they might actually lower the color options. And that is a very fair point. In fact, even before the recession, the iMac rarely saw design changes. 
And so yes, expect the M1's design to remain the same for the next few years. And yes, you're right, we could see less colour options. Since these machines are not as popular as the MacBooks and other desktops, and so having so many SKUs might not be worth it. So user says, when is Apple going to bring back the logo on the front? And I don't think we're ever going to see that. Yes, it would be nice if the logo returned. I personally prefer the look of the iMac with the logo on the front. But since the iMac's design is so recognisable without the logo on the front, Apple thinks there's no need for it. And that's basically what Josh says. He replied, they're not. Their design language is so well known that they don't need a logo on the front. It's cool to see how Apple's confident with their designs, and the same philosophy can be seen in the M1 MacBook Pros, where the MacBook writing is no longer beneath the display. And yeah, that is a fair point. Apple's designs are so iconic, they don't need any sort of writing on the device. In fact, we saw this with iPhones a few years ago because up until the iPhone 11, we had the iPhone text on the back of the device, but Apple got rid of that because they did not need it. The iPhone was instantly recognizable, so that's definitely the case with the iMacs. So Joe says the ugly iMac front is gonna stick around for 10 more years. The silver one is perfect in my opinion. So I'll be honest, I did initially hate this design like of course everyone did, but it's grown on me massively over the last few years and I do like the way it looks in all the colors actually, so I'm fine with this design staying around for the next few years. However, yes, I do agree the silver iMac looks fantastic and silver in general with Macs looks very classy, CS. So yes, I hope they keep silver for the M3 version. So Mike says, would it kill Apple to return missing ports and the SD card reader? Now I'm expecting that to make a return with the iMac Pro because most buying the regular iMacs don't need the additional ports. So basically expect what Apple did with the MacBooks where the Pros got all the ports back, but the regular models, those still had limited peripherals. So Jay Smoothie says, I wanted the iMacs to come next month, waiting until the end of the year is far too long. It needs to get yearly updates truthfully in line with all of Apple's other products. Now I've got to disagree there because while we don't know exact stats, we know there's been a general downward trend for all in ones. Many are getting laptops. And so I don't think the iMac's actually that popular of a machine. In fact, even before Apple Silicon, Apple did not update the design for 10 years. And so that should tell you guys, the iMac's not really that popular of a product. Apple's keeping around because there is still a niche market for it and also the education market, but it's not big enough to warrant yearly upgrades. But guys, tell me in the comments, are you excited for new iMacs? Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one.